Hello everyone, it's Sam here and I'm super excited to announce that the next update to Solo Studio Pro will be going live tomorrow. That is the 17th of April 2024 and it is a big one because we are introducing a brand new epic feature that we're calling Show Mode. Now Show Mode is a combination of lots of different suggestions that have been sent to me through our labs page over the last six months, if not more. It all started with Tim Hannig back at Magic Live in 2023. And since then, people like Jonathan Levitt, Calix, Rune, John Allen have all suggested different ideas and thoughts around this sort of thing. But what is it? Well, show mode enables you to see the cues that are next going to be fired with Solo Studio Pro in a clear, big view, perfect for stage and cabaret performers. So, how do you enable it? Well, the keen-eyed ones of you will have noticed a new icon in the top right-hand corner of that iPad screen next to the Tools menu, and that is the Show Mode icon, which is a little show ticket, like what we did there. If you click that, you will see everything changes. The view of the back end of your show completely looks different. You can see the next three cues. That's all that will fit on the screen, is the instrumental there, track one and track two. We've done that purposefully so you can see nice and clearly what's coming up next. This is great if you're using the Go Mode or Go Button feature. And even if you're not, don't worry, we've got some awesome stuff lined up. Now, before we dive into that, you can see immediately we have a nice big clock in the top left-hand corner. That's our real-world clock. Just in case the, you, know, you get told that you've only got till 6 o'clock to run your show, I know that I've got about 15 minutes left. And if that wasn't enough, in the top right-hand corner, you've got the elapsed time or your show time. And that tells you how long the show has been running. That automatically starts when a queue is started or stopped as soon as show mode becomes active. So, for example, if I was to cue the instrumental Lucky song, you will be able to see that the show clock immediately starts playing. And it starts counting. Now, you can see the queue is nice and big and bold. This was designed to be read from the other side of a theatre, and I've tested that. I was in a conference centre, and I could still see the queues turning green. It was fantastic. It makes it really easy to see. Now, the active queue always goes to the top of your screen. So, for example, if I was to fade this out, naturally, we will auto-scroll to the next queue. That's great, because it means now that I'm ready, and I can see that track one is next. But like I said, we auto-scroll. So even if you're not using the go button method and you trigger something that's in a completely different part of your show, we'll use track two as an example, you can see that it automatically jumps to the top and begins playing that track. Pretty cool, right? Now obviously when that's turned off or you fade it out or the track ends, we still auto scroll to that next one, making it super easy for you to see everything. Oh, and in case you're wondering, yes, the show clock is still running. We're just over a minute in. See, it's cool, isn't it? Now, you can scroll back through all of these and play any cue in any order, obviously. That's the whole point in solo. But there are a few more cool features that we built in. The first one being perfect timing. Now, traditionally, you would get the feedback, which is amazing. I think that's the best way of doing it personally. But if you have solo hidden in a table and you don't want it vibrating and you can't quite see the LED lights properly, we've got your back because track three here has perfect timing enabled. And in a moment, when I trigger that cue, it will not only come to the top of the screen by auto-scrolling, but you'll get an incredible countdown. Told you. So as you can see, it's big, it's bold, you can see it from a mile away, and it's so, so easy. And that cue starts exactly when it should, when you see the word go. So even if you haven't got that vibration feature on the solo hardware itself, you still get to see it on the iPad screen, nice and big. And then we fade that out, and guess what? We're gonna auto scroll. But I'm gonna take us back to the top, because there is one more thing I want to show you inside show mode that I absolutely love, and it's the notes feature. At Blackpool, we released an update to include notes inside your cues. So when you're inside a queue, you can now make little notes to yourself. Well, okay, great. But why? Well, it was part of this master plan, if you will, to be able to display those show notes inside show mode. So how do you open them? Well, that little notes icon in the bottom right hand corner of the screen, just down there, I get my left and rights right. Um, and you can see that little icon, as soon as you tap it, it opens up this blank space. 
that's actually a blank note because there currently isn't an active queue, so there's no notes to display. But only when that queue is fired will we get those notes. So if I was to fire the instrumental, you can see instantly I'm getting prompted by the track itself on what to do. So you could use this to check props, make sure that you get the audience information that you need to get. It could cue you for some pre-show information. It could remind you what school you're performing at so you know how to introduce yourself. It could be anything. This is especially cool, by the way, for keynote speakers because you can have your images as slides and these can be your notes. Now you can change the text size if you like. I like to make it as big as possible so then it's easier and easier to read like that. Now, of course, when that queue ends, it goes blank and we auto scroll ready to go on our next queue, which in this case would be track one. And if track one was to play, you can see that the notes pop up dynamically for that track one. And guess what? When we get to track two, it's going to do the same thing. It's going to show us track two's notes and we're going to fade that out and then it will go blank when it's not active. And then when Q3 fires, we're showing the notes, we're showing the countdown and we're starting your awesome queue. Does it get much better than this? So that is show mode. And I am so excited to share it with you all. Um, I hope you love it. Leave some comments below. Let me know what you think. Because honestly, I'm, I'm amazed by this because using it in my own shows over the last month, it has been incredible. So thank you once again to all those people that submitted something like this as a feature request. It really means a lot. Uh, I love the community that we've got at the moment that's building and is just growing. And there's so many incredibly um, clever and, and creative people using Solo around the world now. And it's just going to get better and better. So thank you again. And if you've got any comments, like I say, leave them below. And uh, I'll speak to you all soon.